In the Disaster Diversion Lab, you created a natural disaster preparedness plan. Let's go over how to prepare for various common natural disasters. Hurricanes are storm systems characterized by a low pressure center and numerous thunderstorms that produce strong winds and heavy rains. The National Hurricane Center is usually able to monitor the path of a forming hurricane, giving the coast enough warning before it makes landfall. Under the threat of a hurricane, there are many things you need to do to make sure you are prepared. Make sure you listen to updates from the National Hurricane Center. Hurricanes are classified by different categories, one through five. One being the weakest with winds 74 to 95 miles per hour, and category five being the strongest with winds over 157 miles per hour. You need to know what kind of home you're dealing with. Most homes provide hurricane shutters that you can put over the windows. Winds can launch objects such as trees at your home. Shutters protect your windows from such objects. Some homes include additional clips or straps to securely fasten your roof to the frame structure. The roof is usually the first part of the home to be destroyed during a hurricane. Be sure the trees and shrubs around your home are well trimmed. Branches can also become projectiles during a storm. Be sure to clear loose and clogged rain gutters and downspouts. Make sure you stock up on bottled water. Buy enough for not only the storm, but also the weeks after the storm has passed. Hurricanes can leave a damage path that can take months to fix. The water supply can become contaminated as well. You should buy drinking water as well as water to bathe in. Be sure to buy plenty of canned foods. Electricity is often cut off or damaged during a storm. It can be weeks before the power is back up after a hurricane. There is often a shortage of gasoline after a storm has passed. Be sure to fill up your car as well as a few gas containers for reserve. It is recommended that for any hurricane with a category three and above that you consider leaving. Hurricanes of these strengths can level homes regardless of how well built they are. Unlike hurricanes, earthquakes happen suddenly and without notice. If you are in an area that is at risk for earthquakes, it is important that you have a plan in place that you are very familiar with when they do strike. If indoors, drop to the ground and take cover by getting under some sturdy furniture. Stay away from glass or anything that could fall. Never use elevators. Buildings can collapse from earthquakes, causing elevator shafts to become very dangerous. If outdoors, move away from the building and any other large objects such as street lights. If you are in a moving vehicle, stop and stay in the vehicle. Do not stop near a tree, building, or utility wires, all of which can collapse during an earthquake. If you are trapped under debris, tap on a pipe or wall so that rescuers can locate you. Any other means you have of making noise, such as a whistle, can also be helpful. Don't light a match. Fumes can be flammable. Tornadoes, like earthquakes, offer very little warning, usually less than 15 minutes. It is important to have a plan in place that you can act on quickly. Listen for a tornado warning through NOAA weather radio and weather programming on TV. During a tornado warning, most TV channels have a warning system in place that will interrupt any planned programming. Meteorologists are able to detect the conditions that are ideal for tornadoes to form, which can increase the warning time. If you are in an area that is prone to tornadoes, you should be on alert if you see low-lying, thick, and dark clouds. You should have a designated place where you can take shelter, whether it is a storm cellar or basement. Make sure it is stocked with an emergency kit, first aid supplies, a radio, food, and water. A tornado warning means that a funnel cloud is formed. You should take shelter immediately if a warning has been issued or you see a funnel cloud. 
Stay in the shelter location until the danger is passed. Without endangering yourself, help injured or trapped people. Check on others who may require special assistance, such as the elderly, children, and people with disabilities. Now that we've outlined some disaster preparedness plans, let's go over a few content statements. A natural disaster is a naturally occurring event that has a negative effect on people and the environment around them. A disaster preparedness plan can prepare you for natural disasters. Having a plan of action prior to a natural disaster increases our level of security and safety in dealing with such a disaster. Always be prepared by getting the necessary supplies needed to survive a natural disaster and have a shelter that is strong enough to resist the forces of nature. When you go home, discuss the disaster preparedness plan your family would use if a natural disaster struck. It is important that everybody in your family is familiar with it. Thank you for watching.